All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the course. We have reached chapter number 13. Okay, so for the fact that you're here, well done, shows your dedication and your hard work. And I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, it will pay off. It will pay off. All right, so let's have a look at what we have in store for us in chapter 13. If we have a look at section A, we've got the reading comprehension. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to read that out and then we're going to answer the questions below. So, when I read this, just pay attention to certain words that you're not necessarily familiar with. Now, some of these words will be uh, quite tricky to pronounce because um, they're not English words, but just pay attention to the English words that you're not necessarily familiar with. Familiarize yourself with these words and ensure that you understand them. Pay attention to my pronunciation, pay attention to my use and intonation, Take your time, develop your own pace, and most of all, enjoy. Okay, so let's get started. So, Paulista Avenue, a touristic place in Sao Paulo, Paulo City. So, that is the title. The most popular avenue of the city has all the best of Sao Paulo. On this avenue, it's possible to find museums and cultural centers. Find a park among skyscrapers, check news at the bookstores, enjoy the happy hour in one of the various pubs that they are on it, enjoy the night in one of the nightclubs around, watch theatre performances and cinema sections and shopping everywhere in just one place. Even with all these excitement, Polista Avenue lets you enjoy the nature. The Park Trinon offers sits, places for walking, and eventual cultural performances, and even small theater plays. For those who prefer to visit cultural places, they should visit the Assis Modern Art Museum. For those who, for those ones who like to shop in, the suggestions are Shopping Center 3 and Peixo Paulista. You can also go shopping on the various stores that are there on the streets. And to recharge your energy, you can go to the Bella Paulista Bakery, which is open 24 hours a day and has an assorted menu. Sao Paulo is known as the Drizzle City. But certainly, if you like crowds and busy places, you should go there in the summer. It's pretty hot though. Okay, so I don't know if any of you have been to Sao Paulo City. If you have, that's great. Then this article is uh, more relatable to you. I would like to go there, perhaps one day. Uh, that would be quite interesting. Okay, so let's go on to the questions. Number one. What can you do in Polista Avenue at night? So let's revert back to the article. Okay, so if we want to spend some time at night, what is it that we can do? So if we go here, right, it says enjoy the night in one of the nightclubs around. You can watch theater performances and cinema sections and shopping every inch is one place. Okay, so if you want to have fun at night, what you can do is uh, go to the nightclubs around or watch theater performances. Okay, number two, where can you go to eat there? So where can we go and eat at uh, this place? So if we have a look here, let's have a look here. There's a couple of places. Okay, so they're speaking about eating. Okay, so I saw they said we can visit a pub, right? But that's for drinking mostly. But uh, some pubs do offer some food to eat. Okay, but uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so you can also go shopping on the various stores that are there on the streets 
So shopping center three, perhaps there are some malls where people can uh, eat. And then there's a uh, Bella Polista Bakery, which is open 24 hours a day with an assorted menu. Okay, so there are several places where you can go and eat. Number three, what are some cultural places there? So we've got the Assis Modern Art Museum. Okay, they have some cultural performances, even small theater plays. Okay, so yes, yes, these are what they have to offer in terms of cultural places. Number four, where can you go shopping there? Okay, so we mentioned this before. So if somebody who likes to go shopping, the suggestions are Shopping Center 3, the Pacio Polista. Okay, and number five, what's a good time to visit? Okay, so they say that in the last sentence that you should go there in the summer. Okay, so that is the best time to visit is in the summer. Okay, so let's look at number six. Three people are going to visit Sao Paulo City. Look at the descriptions and give suggestions from the text or your own ideas using can or should. Okay, so if you know Sao Paulo more, then you can add in recommendations that are aside from this text. But if you don't, you can strictly use this text. So A, Teresa says, I'm going to visit Sao Paulo City on my next vacation with two friends. We like to go out at night to dance and have fun in nice restaurants. Where should we go? So Teresa, so, okay, when you respond to this, you can say should or can. So, so long as you're using either word in your sentence. Okay, so Teresa, you should visit the nightclubs around and uh, what else does she want to do? Nice restaurants. So there are some nightclubs that you can draw, enjoy. So you should go there and find nice restaurants. You can also visit the Bella Polista Bakery, which has an assorted menu. Okay, so that would be my response to Teresa. You can develop your own response so long as you are telling her what she can do or should do at night and um, the fun that she can have at nice restaurants. Okay, B, Brian says, I'll visit Sao Paulo next weekend. I like um, quiet places. I don't like big crowds. I like to go for a walk and have contact with the nature. Where should I go? So, Paula, uh, Paulista Avenue lets you enjoy the nature so you should go there so you should go to Paulista Avenue mm, and you can also visit the park uh, Trinon where you can have uh, nice strolls and peaceful walks and enjoy nature so there he can there you can, okay, I'm speaking to Brian directly, there you can enjoy some peace and quiet and not be in big crowds. Okay, so develop your own response to Brian, okay, so long as you're giving him places and suggestions of uh, areas that are quiet, that have some kind of nature that's surrounded. Okay, see, Diana, I'm going to visit Sao Paulo next week next month sorry my mom lives there i like to go shopping and buy different things i like to know about culture and learn different things so she wants to go shopping and she wants to learn about the culture okay so if we have a look there sorry the music stopped since your okay. spotify account is being the mic is muted this is the second time this happened okay all right so um with regards to shopping we can say, uh, you can go shopping on Shopping Center 3 and Peixo Polista 
and for a cultural experience you can go to uh, let's see uh, the small theater plays and the eventual cultural performances in Park uh, okay in Park Trinon okay yes so that place also houses the cultural performances so you can tell her to visit any of these places and that will be correct okay let's look at D Kelly I'm going to be in Sao Paulo for two weeks and I'm still having lots of doubts about what should I bring with me. I mean, what kinds of clothing and objects? Should I bring a camera? Should I bring lots of money? What kinds of transportation should I use to make my tour easier and comfortable? Okay, so you should bring a lot of money so that you can enjoy all kinds of experiences. Okay. Um, what you should also do is bring comfortable uh, summer clothes since uh, it is most popular for people to go there in summertime you should go there at that um, time dressed appropriately okay and what you can also do is you can take different kinds of cabs right so you can visit all different kinds of places uh, you can visit uh, the park Trinon you can visit and have a good time at the cultural performances events and the small theater plays you can also have a grab of delicious food at Bella Paulista bakery okay and then what else did she desire yes she should bring a camera there are many people so there are many people that she could potentially meet and it would be nice for you to take some photos of that okay so those would be my suggestions for Kelly if you have any other suggestions please say them and include them we have E now the last one William I'm so excited I'm going to travel to South Paola City next weekend but my friend told me that it's a very dangerous place at night so I'm wondering what kinds of precautions should I take so make sure that you are in a group okay Th this is not to do with the article uh, obviously um, this is more real life uh, precautions that you could take so ensure that you're always in a group okay ensure that you do not have any prized possessions out so any kind of expensive phones or cameras at night uh, this can attract some thieves obviously to take it and most importantly um, do not go in deserted areas ensure that you are always in crowded areas and in busy places that way um, you are less likely to be a target of criminal activities okay so whatever you recommend uh, with regards to E, that will be appropriate so long as you're providing some safety um, precautions that William can make in order to ensure that he stays safe. All right, so we are complete with this section. We've done the reading comprehension and we did the quiz all in one go. So well done. Okay, so if there are certain things maybe that you did not understand, please revisit it and then come back to this reading comprehension to expand your understanding. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next lesson.